also good news for the otter. Once threatened with extinction in England, it's now officially recorded as having made a return to every county. Thanks to legal protection and a ban on some chemical pesticides, there's been a major turnaround in the fortunes of the mammal. As Jeremy Cook reports. They are the comeback kids of the English countryside. By the 1970s, otters were absent in most of the country, endangered in a few places where they managed to hang on to survival. Slowly though, they have returned, moving south and east until now in the rivers of Kent, otters are back. According to the Environment Agency, this is the last county in England to welcome the return of this much-loved countryside character. We don't know exactly the number of otters that are back in Kent, but we certainly know that last year, when they did the national survey, uh, we had otters in almost every county bar Kent, and over the last year we've definitely got some sightings and some active signs that there are otters back in Kent as well. The otter renaissance indicates a thriving ecosystem. Their presence means that water is clean, habitat plentiful. All a far cry from the 70s, when pollution and persecution almost wipe them out. But even as they begin to repopulate wild areas, otters are still a very rare sight in most of the country. This one was born in captivity, but her charm has helped the public understand and support efforts to bring them back in the wild. Well, even in captivity, it's amazing to be this close to an otter and incredible to think that this species was endangered across England just a few decades ago. For conservationists here, confirmation that otters are back in the wild just down the road is great news. Everything has to be right. You've got to have the right clean water for all the little crustacea, the things they like, the bugs and beasties they like eating, the eels, the fish. They all have to be perfect for the otter right at the top of the food chain. With otters now back in every county in England, conservationists are already looking to the future. They want to still further improve conditions to allow often tiny new colonies of otters to become established, thriving populations. Jeremy Cook, BBC News, Kent.